Hey everyone, welcome to the Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we will learn how to run LLMs locally. Running LLMs locally unlocks a powerful blend of freedom, privacy, and customization. You get full control over your data, ensuring no sensitive information leaves your system. With zero API cost, it is really cost-effective alternate to cloud-hosted models. Local deployments also means tailoring the model to your exact use case, whether it's fine-tuning for niche tasks or integrating offline. Ideal for developers, researchers, and business seeking secure, high-performance AI workflows. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to lay the foundations on running such LLMs locally in a step-by-step -step approach. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified whenever we host. Also, just that you know, if you want to upskill yourself, master generative AI and artificial intelligence skills, and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various generative AI courses and certifications. Simply Learn offers various certification programs in collaboration with some of the world's leading universities like Purdue, IIT, Guwahati, and many more. Through our courses, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like advanced Python, machine learning, generative AI, and over a dozen others. That's not all, you also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts working in top tier data and product companies and academics from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into an AI and machine learning role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job and profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a generative AI program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now, without further delay, let's get started. So how do you run LLMs locally? So there are a wide variety of options out there for your LLMs. You can either go with DeepSeek, Mistral, ChatGPT, or the latest Gemma, or the Llama from Meta, right? A wide variety of all these LLMs is now present for free of use for you to run locally. Now with that, let's go with a quick question. Which one of these is the newly released LLMs on Olama? Please let us know your answers in the comment section below. Now with that, let's go to Olama. Now that's it, let's get started with downloading the Olama software for your local system. You just need to quickly do a quick sign in for your account and then press on the download button. And apart from that, make sure that you choose the right operating system that you're logged in. For now, I'm logged in into the Windows operating system, so I'll just go with download for Windows option here. Now, once you're downloaded with that software, and while the Olama for Windows is getting downloaded, you can quickly take a look on the library of Olama to understand what are the open source LLMs available for you. So we have DeepSeek, Gemma 3, and Gemma 3, and Gwen 3, and a lot of new versions out there. We can also choose the size of these particular LLMs and get started with. And for the quick library version of the same, you have the GitHub link over here. So I will drop all these three links in the description box below. So you have the same Jamma 3 versions here and you have all the same models available here. The Jamma 3, QWQ, DeepSeek R1, Llama, Fee, Mestral and everything. And one quick tip for you is make sure you choose the right model based on the size or the space available in your local system. So you can see the same Jamma is available in three different sizes. The 1 billion parameter comes with 815 MB of size and the same geometry is also available in 27 billion parameters with the highest size of 17 GB. So you might want to take a quick look at the size and space available in your local system and based on that choose your model. So these are the models and their spaces accordingly and right next to them you have the download command readily available for you right here. So now let's assume that you have downloaded your Olama for your Windows. The quick way to run it is really simple. So I've already downloaded it and here I can see it's running as well. So here you can see a small Olama logo here. This is the one. So that is running right now in the server mode. So to get access to it, what you need to do is just press on Windows R button and then type in CMD and hit enter. So you'll have your command prompt right here. What you can do is just Type in Olama and there you go. You have all the Olama options or the commands available right here. 
So this particular screen is an indication that you have downloaded Olama successfully. And here you have a wide variety of options. The first one, which is serve, which will give you access to the server side of this particular Olama and give you the IP address where the Olama is currently running. For example, let's quickly check that Olama space serve. So this will give you the IP address on which Olama is currently running. This is the one. And apart from that, uh, you can also check uh, the currently available LLMs in your local system. So for that, you just need to type in Olama list. I think I have two or three. So I have two. So I have DeepSeek R1 with 1.5 billion parameters. And another one is Llama 3. And the size of that is about 4.7 GB. And uh, the size of uh, DeepSeek is about 1.1 GB. So let's say I want to get access to uh, DeepSeek. So what I can do is just type in Olama run DeepSeek R1. So it is currently downloading the latest version. I think there must be some updates on that. So it will download and let us know. And meanwhile, you can also type down to check the latest version of Mistral or Llama that we have uh, downloaded. So there you go, we have complete access to Llama 3. And also, if you take a look at the previous manifest, it says the model you are attempting to pull requires a newer version of Olama. So I think I missed out to update my Olama once it's updated. I think I'll have a good uh, access to Deep Sea Carbon. Not a big problem. Now let's run some queries for Llama. Let's say, hi, uh, Llama. So it responds to you, hi. That's good. Now, let's say if you want to exit this particular Olama and get started with a different uh, LLM in your model, you can also do that just by typing down uh, by. So uh, let's wait for a moment while it's typing down a response for us. There you go. It was a little late, but not bad. Better late than never. So it says, yours perked up. I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. And uh, how about you today? A very wide to answer. Let's say I want to quit this particular LLM and I wish for a different one. All I can do is just type down buy and it will like this LLM. It's really simple. All I need to do is type down, it will close. There you go. And as soon as I close, I can also go ahead with the same version of Deep Sea Carbon once I update up Olama. Or let's say if I go back to the list, I have Deep Sea Carbon and Llama. Let's say I want to download the latest version of Gamma, right? So what I can do is I can use the same Olama run command, go back to GitHub. So right now I'm on GitHub. So I would like to go ahead with this particular version. So Olama run gamma 3 colon 1 billion parameter version. So I can just copy this, come back to command prompt and I can just paste it here and hit enter and it will manifest and pull this particular LLM for me and download and get it ready for me. So you can see it is getting downloaded. It might just take a couple of moments. It's just about uh, 800 megabytes, not even big. Let's wait for a moment. Yeah, uh, the download is pretty much done and we're ready for texting. Let's type down, hi there. You can see uh, Gemma 3, one billion parameters is relatively faster and the previous LLM we have. So based on your requirements, based on the speeds that you're looking for, you can go ahead with any of the models available there. And comparatively, even this is a little bit smaller or monumentally smaller than the previous version we had, right? And just like any other LLM, you can just quickly type down forward slash and buy to exit from this LLM and quickly switch to any of the pre-existing LLMs or the ones you have just recently downloaded. So that's how you can run. So that's how you can run LLMs locally in your operating system. And with that, we have come to an end of this session on how to run LLMs locally. So if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require any of the resources that we have used in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to assist you at the earliest. Until next time, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.